Welcome to the channel. Oh shit, it's a big ass turtle. Welcome to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be talking about Bees Combat Systems Predator Ghillie. This is a ghillie suit in a line of concealment products that Bees Combat System makes. I'm going to talk about why I like it, why I don't like it. We're going to be brutally honest about it. Let's get into it. So first, let me introduce myself so you understand where my perspective comes from. My name is Tom. I was in a long-range reconnaissance and surveillance unit for roughly nine years. Our job was to gather field intelligence on enemy forces to determine their size, capability, identity, whatever we needed to figure out about them. And in doing that, we had to employ a large range of concealment systems and camouflage tactics, anything we needed to to hide ourselves and our equipment. That being said, I'm very familiar with ghillie suits, ghillie crafting, concealment systems, it's very dear to my heart. Today I'm going to be very critical on this review and any reviews that I do in the future. Let's go ahead and get into it. So my first big gripe about this product is it's not super easy to put on. If you have a ton of kit on and, and you're out in the field and you're hot and sweaty it's going to be a little bit cumbersome to put on. That's kind of just the nature of it. It's not really supposed to be a quick deploy thing. It's not a quick deploy product, but it's also not difficult to wear. As you can see, I was able to put it on probably in a minute and a half. And I could probably just wear this all day, which leads me to the next thing. It is hot outside today. It's very hot, despite the fact that it's raining just a little bit. It's This is the Texas summer. And I'm not feeling like I'm under a, a second blanket of because I'm wearing all of this shit today. This thing releases heat very well. So to kind of explain the suit a little bit further, I haven't finished setting it up. There are shock cords here with little pull tabs. You can secure the suit to your body. And because of the cuts, and it is a laser cut material, because of the cuts throughout the material, it is constantly releasing heat. I don't feel like I'm getting hotter with this on. In fact, I can feel every breeze under it right now just because that's also the way that I have my equipment set up. So that's really nice. That actually walks us into our next point. So this is very easy to wear all day. I don't get hot in it. I have worn it all day before. But again, it's just not a quick deploy item. Putting it on, you kind of saw I had to fish for the hood. But that's okay. Bees Combat Systems is very proud. And you can see that in their advertising of how this suit releases heat and actually will reduce your thermal image signature. So if you have an OP4 who's got thermal imaging, who's got FLIR cameras, this will actually reduce that thermal signature. It won't eliminate it, but it does help in concealing yourself as a ghillie should. Now it may appear that I got this product in multicam. This is actually ATEX Yukon, which I believe stands for Universal Concealment. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. But I like ATEX Yukon because, first of all, it looks a little a little Gucci. It's a little bit different from other stuff, including multicam, so you can tell your stuff apart just a little bit better. But they also have good micro features. So if you look at it, so if you look at the pattern here, this is multicam, and then this is ATEX Yukon, and you can tell there's just little micro features here that help kind of give a more dynamic camouflage pattern. The difference is negligible, guys. If you end up getting multicam, you'll look pretty much the exact same as me now. But Bees Combat Systems does also provide this product in a range of other camouflage patterns. I don't remember all of them. There's multicam arid, there's multicam, there's multicam tropic, there is wolf gray. There's a pretty good selection of camouflage patterns. Now, this isn't their only concealment product. This is the, this is their assaulter version, which goes all the way down the back, as you can see here. There's one that has that back section cut off, so I imagine you can put a rucksack on, and then they also sell a similar product that is a cover for your rucksack. That means you can put that on without anything being between you and your ruck frame, and still cover up your rucksack with a dedicated product. I'll talk more about that in a second, and I've actually got a surprise for you later. The system has a hood which also has drawstrings off to the side. This means that I can throw it over just my hat, 
or my helmet and cinch it down to my head so that way it stays with me as I move. What I really like about this that other cobra style ghillies have not done very well, at least not all of them, I like being able to move my head from side to side. And this is while I'm standing, while I'm in the prone, I can still see everything that hood is not getting in my my field of vision barely at all, barely off to the sides, and I can still even still adjust it out of the way. So that's really nice. I like knowing that I'm going to be able to see what I need to see without being seen. I do want to say something about ghillie suits real quick. I would not just throw this product on and expect to be invisible. It is not that kind of ghillie suit. And with any good ghillie suit, you're going to put on your own camouflage. You're going to take in the natural vegetation around you. You're going to weave that into your, your camouflage system. Sometimes you'll tie in strips of burlap and jute into the suit to add that texture, add a little bit of color, and really tailor it to your environment or whatever your mission is. Now let's move on over here. So I've moved over to an environment with a slightly higher vegetation. One of the big reasons for that is because there's a bunch of white folks over there who I'm scaring right now, and I'm trying to avoid them. But that's actually not just me trying to be funny, that's relevant. Right now, I'm standing here looking directly at them, and you can tell they're still kind of freaked out, and I'm behind some of these bushes, but I can very clearly see them. I'm even moving, and they still can't detect me, and that's cool. Now it's starting to rain, and they're going inside. Look at them run with their tiny little dog. Disgusting. So the Predator Ghillie does come with a couple of buckles. The first one I'll talk about is this one here, the waist strap buckle, which secures the lower half of the Predator Ghillie to your waistline. Next, under the arms here, you have buckles basically under the armpits, which are also attached to more shock cord, which will help kind of hug this system to your body um, keeps this from flapping or flowing too much, uh, which really helps you control the concealment system that you're wearing. And that's nice. What I like about it is it's not too snug. It's not trying to be too tailored like some other ghillie suits are. So one thing to note, some of you who are familiar with ghillie suits will know this. Some of you are not familiar with ghillie suits. I'll cover it anyway. A ghillie suit's purpose is not always to make you just disappear. It's not a cloak of invisibility. Ghillie suits are made to keep you from looking like a person or concealing the man-made objects on you. You don't want something that's tight against your body, not only for the sake of movement, but you don't want to look like a human silhouette. And that's one thing that this system does very well. There's a bunch of other considerations as well, but one of the big ones is your silhouette here. That head, the shoulders, this from the waistline up shape that people have. So before even tying in all the camouflage features into this suit, I can already tell you, and you can see, this is eliminating my silhouette, my human head, shoulder, torso image that our eyes are programmed to, to detect almost faster than anything else. The only thing faster than that, I think, is the human face, which this suit does not conceal. You'll have to learn how to apply face paint. And this suit, with very little material, does a very good job of eliminating that silhouette. As you can see, right now I'm wearing a helmet and glasses, and it fits over all of that really well. But if I had just had a boonie hat on, I could cinch that down to the boonie hat. Now something that has to be said about ghillie suits. Ghillie suits are not a cloak of invisibility. It's not something that you can just throw on and expect to disappear. Especially in the case of a pre-bought ghillie suit, I've crafted all of my own previous ghillie suits before. This is actually the first one that I've bought. That being said, most ghillie suits are going to require constant adjustment as you move from environment to environment. That means you're checking the jute and burlap that you've tied into your suit. You're ditching the last natural vegetation that you put into it and either replenishing it because it's dying or you've moved into a new environment and you need to put new vegetation on. So with that in mind, I would tie in other features into the suit before it's ready for use. Now, as this product comes and before any modification, this is still a superior camouflage system to just wearing a camouflage top, a uniform top. If you need a demonstration to showcase what I mean about this being a pretty effective camouflage system before any user modification, 
I told you that there was going to be a surprise later in this video. Here it is. Somewhere behind me, my rucksack is covered in the exact same material, unmodified. It is also a Bees Combat Systems product. It's their rucksack ghillie cover. Let me go retrieve it. Let's see if you spotted it. Now, this rucksack has been laying in the exact same spot the entire time I've been standing here talking to you in this environment. This is also a Bees Combat Systems product. This is their ghillie cover. Similar to how the Predator ghillie has a bunch of shock cord all over it to cinch it down to your body, the rucksack cover that Bees Combat System provides also has a shock cord outer lining. So you can tie this in, cinch this down around your rucksack. I even have colorful patches on this rucksack, and I was still confident that I could hide this behind me. And again, this is before taking in all of the natural vegetation around me and somehow affixing it with other shock cord attachments or whatever to this rucksack. So guys, if you were to purchase either the Predator Ghillie or the rucksack cover, one thing you should know is it comes with these laser cut strips of the same material that the net is made out of. These are for you to tie into and add texture to that camouflage system, thereby adding extra texture to whatever you're fixing it to. But just for demonstration, I've taken this off of my rucksack, and I'd like to point out also that this isn't limited to just your rucksack. You could throw this on anything. You can throw this on your radio, on your ATV. You could throw this on your rifle. This is a little big for that. And they actually do have a product for hiding rifle. You can stop looking in the background. I didn't bring the rifle out today. But now I'll just demonstrate how this goes on the rucksack. And you can see maybe this shock cord, uh, the shock cord frame that it has. So we'll just loop it over the rucksack. Make sure that the shock cord goes all the way around the pack. And then just cinch it down to the rucksack. And there's even some cuts in the material for me to loop this shock cord through. But I actually like to tuck it in just behind the frame of the ruck. Now, this is ready to ruck and roll. That was lame. The one complaint that I have about the rucksack cover that they sell is in order to access my ruck, I do have to take this off. And that means I have to manipulate that shock cord. It has to come at least halfway off for me to get into that flap. That's a little finicky. I do wish that there was a separation here where I could I'm not sure, maybe unbuckle it and lift this up along with the flap. The reason I think that they don't provide that as a product is because there's so many different rucksacks out there that would mean that they'd have to configure this product to so many different models of rucks. That just wouldn't make sense for them. And honestly, this isn't that much more work. I do like the feeling of being to expeditiously, expediently, I do like knowing that I could very quickly access my ruck if I need to, but this isn't that much extra time. Let's look at it. Boom. That reveals the top of my rucksack. I can now get into it. It wasn't that hard. It didn't take that much time. I didn't even have to manipulate the shock cord. And there we go. Now it's back on. It stretches, guys. Now to wrap up everything we've covered today, I like this ghillie suit. The Predator ghillie suit, although it requires, I think, a little bit of end user modification based on your mission, I think as it comes, it's still more effective than not having anything. And I think it's worth getting. The only thing, the only bad part about it that I don't like is how hard it is to put it on, how weird it is to put it on. That's probably something I'm just going to get used to anyway. Half of the stuff that I'm wearing is even more finicky to put on. I'm probably going to make this a regular part of my kit, especially the fact that it can stuff up into a rucksack so tight. I'm going to have this in my rucksack basically at all times in a tiny little stuff sack, which is another thing that stuffs up real tight, guys. It's really light, 
basically no weight at all. I'm not even going to know it's in my rucksack until I need it, and that's very cool. Especially for Lurse guys, that's very cool. And if we're being honest, I think it just looks kind of cool. Especially when you're wearing this at night with your nods on. I've actually had one guy who was out in the woods with me turn around, had to look a little bit for me. When he finally saw me with the hood on, the nods under it, he told me, you look like death personified. You look scary. And that's cool to me. And our surprise product for today, the Bees Combat System Rucksack Cover. I also like it. I wish that it had some added functionality in that I could access the pack a little bit easier so that this could become more of a permanent fixture. Um, it's okay that it's not. I wouldn't really expect it to be. Now, let's talk about price. So I actually spoke to the designer and the manufacturer of this Predator ghillie suit from Bees Combat Systems. He was a really cool guy. He was asking me what my thoughts were on the products that I've purchased from them. He was interested in my perspective. And in talking to him, I got to hear a little bit about the philosophy of what goes into their products. And I have to say, I very much support the company. They're making their products with the end user in mind only. They've priced their products in such a way where they're barely making a profit off of it. And you can tell, looking at, feeling, playing with this material, Oh, fuck. Okay, so I've disturbed a sizable ant pile behind me. There's still a couple of them on me. We'll get rid of them throughout the day. Anyway, I talked to the designer of Bees Combat Systems, Predator Gilly, and I have to say, I like the philosophy that they're putting into their products. It's made with the end user in mind, not only in quality, but in the price, you can tell they're barely making a profit off of it. The cost of materials and the cost of work that goes into this, just from talking to them, I was able to tell they put a lot of consideration into their products. They make it with the end user in mind. They've especially considered people's lives may depend on the products that we make. Let's make it with that in mind. I was able to tell that from talking to them. I'm able to tell that from looking at their products. Just a reminder, I am not affiliated with them. I don't have any sort of affiliation code or whatever for a discount. Sorry guys, these combat systems, if you want to send me a free product, that'd be cool. I actually want to get another one of these ghillie suits to make it like a trash ghillie suit, make it look like San Francisco camouflage. Um, I'm willing to buy that with my own money. You can expect that in the future. And if this channel does well, then I'll continue to do these reviews. That's everything from me today, guys. Buy good stuff. Get good training. Go forth and goon. These fucking ants are all over me.